Hi. Sean. Well, speaking of that, you, you mentioned when Aljamain got his back, you obviously trained with Tanquino, you have high-level grappling training partners. Is any part of you just want to test Peter taking him down again, or do you want to mainly keep the striking for these three rounds? I want to, I want to, I just, when I think about having fun, I think about knocking someone out. Like, I, I love grappling, like, it's my favorite training. If I had to go pick what I'm going to do, I'd love to go grapple rather than spar or anything. But when I think of fighting and putting on performances and entertaining, I think of knocking people out. So, I mean, we'll see where the fight goes, but I'd love to knock them out. And then finally, I'm sure you've heard the comments from Dana White. He said he compared your fight with Piotr to when Connor fought Aldo and confirmed that the winner of your fight would indeed get the next shot at the Bantamweight title. So what do you make of now that that is confirmed and he compared your fight to that massive fight between Connor and Aldo? Yeah, I, I kind of already knew that. I mean, I'm the biggest draw in the Bantamweight division. One of the biggest draws in the UFC. I go out there and beat the number one guy. Like, who, who else would I fight other than for the title? So I kind of already knew that, hearing it confirmed from Dana. I mean, it, I already knew that, basically, so it didn't really do, do much. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a massive fight. It's obviously not a main event, but this, this, this could be a main event. This is a massive fight. Do you feel like this is the most talked about fight on this card? I don't know. I don't really pay attention to any of the other fights. I know that I'm excited for them. I'm going to watch them after. But I, I really don't pay attention to any other fights. Anytime I'm on a card, I always say I'm the main event. Just because I, every fighter should think like that. But I don't know. I I know there's Charles Islam's a sweet fight. Um, TJ Aldo's sweet fight. I wouldn't say it's like a huge fight. But uh, yeah, I mean, you could say that. Sean, do you agree with Dana that this is your Aldo fight, or do you think there needs to be a title on the line for that to be the the, the real one? Um, I don't know. I don't really put too much thought into it. This is Sugar vs. Peter fight. It's a sweet fight. You know, the chance of me going out there and knocking him out in thirteen seconds are very low, so it's hard to. I, I don't. I don't know. I, Sugar vs. Peter seems sweeter to me than Conor vs. Aldo. So um, Piotr is known to be like. A bit of a slow starter in the first round. Sometimes people say it's because you know he's trying to see his opponent work out the game plan and then react. But then it could be he might be conserving his energy because he's been in a lot of five round fights lately. Do you, do you and your team identify that first round as a massive opportunity? Because it feels like if he's kind of slow in that first round against you, it might not be such a good idea. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on on that really. Yeah, I'd say he he probably starts out a little bit slower because his style's kind of. It's a five round style when he starts. You know, it's a different, completely different mindset when you have a three round fight compared to a five round fight. So I'm not really expecting him to come out there and kind of start as slow. He knows he only has 15 minutes. It's a lot different mindset than having 25 minutes. So I, I expect him to come out and try to get busy a little bit right away. Um, but I, I, it doesn't really matter to me. I can adapt. I think that's what being high level is being able to adapt to whether he comes out slow, fast, you know. Whatever I feel like, uh, I'm I'm just better. Thanks, guys. Welcome everyone to the open workouts ahead of the blockbuster event UFC 280. Oliveira versus Makachev this Saturday at the Etihad Arena. We will get the athletes out to show you what you will have in store Saturday night. Rahbu Ma'ai fil Bidaya. First up in the bantamweight division, Sugar Sean O'Malley.
It feels like home. I mean, my last 10 fights were in Vegas. I wanted to make sure I came out here early enough to kind of get acclimated and acclimated fast. It really does feel like home, and I'd love to fight here uh, a lot. A lot of people are talking about uh, this being the biggest fight of your career. Um, how, how was your preparation for this fight, your training camp? Obviously, the end of your training camp probably filtered through to, to you being here in Abu Dhabi. Tell us about uh, your, how you feel. Yeah, the training camp couldn't have went better. 12 weeks, focused, dialed in. You know, I knew I was fighting Peter about you know a little over three months out, and it was the main focus was, was Peter Yon for three months, so it went perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Any questions from you guys? You guys battle a lot. <laughs> you got any question? Nothing. Which, Which round? Which round? Which round are you winning? One, two, or three. <laughs> One, brother. How are you going to knock a very good out today? Of course. What, am I, what else would I do? No, but how are you going to do it? His left hand's been feeling really dangerous. <laughs> I think it was an 87 last night. I know my dad's somewhere around in here. Where is he? Where is that? Oh, he didn't show up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I'm gonna beat up Peter in a couple nights. Thanks, you guys. Bye.